seen or transmitted before the committee was not part because first of all we we're not private we don't have the privilege to determine the parameter scale and scope of instructions and if she's unable to then their peers should be undertaken by the lawyers what I know is that the medicine support appear here under representation. That should be the condition. But I'm seeing here we were just interfacing with the client. Mr. Chair, we're setting a wrong and unhealthy precedent in this country. Because in the future, somebody else is going to pick this. I mean, if, 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 if we say medicine appear before this committee and appear in a person or physically, and then here we and you're free to bring lawyers to, you know, either seeking legal guidance or... And here we are now, interfacing with the fellow citizens, and then the, the client is not there. And of course, at some point, you should, you have every right to say, you see, what you discussed with... Uh, because we, 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 we don't have the ability, really, to determine the scope of instruction from... And the fact that actually those instructions are not put into writing. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Until tomorrow at 10. And we request that you inform your client to be here at 10. And, and uh, we shall make our pronouncement. Since she has not given us a written communication, I'm also sending a verbal up communication to her. And now that there are two full good years, the left and the right, this one, your, your secretary, tomorrow at 10, we need her to appear here. You are free to accompany her. I'm moving this under rules 90 of the uh, rules of parliament, our rules of procedure. That is, Article 90 of the uh, Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. Article 90, uh, Clause 3A, which says, in the exercise of the functions under this article, the Committee of Parliament or Committees of Parliament may call any speaker or any person holding public office and private individual to submit memorandum, memoranda or appear before them to give evidence, and we need her tomorrow. Come to, uh, you can accompany her, and uh, when you come, interest yourself on our rules of procedure, since you are acquainted with Rule 73, 4, that a member alleging that a matter is of duties shall provide justification to show that such rules 2 and 3 are applicable. Demonstrate that what we are investigating is the same thing which you have appealed in the court of what? So tomorrow at 10, we are going to interface here. And I want also to inform you that tomorrow is the same day, the date we also communicate to other witnesses to appear here. So it will be an opportunity for her also now to interface with other witnesses. If she fails to appear here, we are going to proceed, even in your absence here, or the absence of your, your client. Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. But just, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I wish to take us back to our last, our first city. What I understand by this morning, my client come here, is that she's coming to defend the allegations of uh, the, you call it the delegation. Chair, chair, you have already ruled. Chair, you so ruled. You are not talking I, to me. Chair, you have already ruled. Yeah. And no, that I'm, not, I'm not setting aside the ruling. I'm that requesting that we have built the evidence which you want the client to come tomorrow and defend. That prayer we made it, but she has never been honored. We made it in our first letter that please avail us the evidence because we are talking about video footages. Chair, I don't understand him, that. Get him off the, the, the record, please. You've already ruled, and that seals it. 